Hello. So, as I often say, it's been a while. Truly and for reals this time. This is just a little, uh... I, this is, I'm not streaming. This is a uh, recording. Just because I didn't figure this would take two hours. But uh, I wanted to kind of do a little video to show off the final state of our Minecraft world. And it's kind of just a little update on uh, what's been going on. Because we haven't been streaming in so long. I did a Book of Mario stream, I think, if, uh, two or three weeks ago. But uh, we just haven't had a lot of time to do any streaming at this point in time. Mostly because Jack's, uh, Jack's schedule changes from week to week. He currently has uh, weekdays off, which I do not, so our days off have not aligned. And we've also both been, we've been going through some things, so. Streams have been a lower priority right now. We'll get back to them. We'll be doing more of them as schedule allows. Uh, so this game updated. It got a 1.18.2 since the last time I played. I just, I migrated the world offline. The same thing happens that usually happens with our Minecraft worlds, is that we had everyone playing for, you know, a week or two, and then it, it died down pretty quickly, and then no one, no one was really visiting the server, so... After a couple months, I just stopped hosting it all the time. It still exists, and people did uh, continue to build stuff pretty substantially after the last stream of this. Which is what I'm here to show off today. I did this for the Animal Crossing as well. You know, Switch game, The Animal Crossing. Is, uh... You know, I played on my own for months. And then just a little short revisit to show off the final state. Uh, so this is all the same as it's been. Is there a... What's the button to get rid of the... Yeah, there's the HUD. The HUD removal. So this is all as it was. I have my little storage area. Little bedroom nook with maps. Big area map. A lot of snow. Little map of the ravine you can see in the center there actually the last stream of this i think it was just me and dairy and that was also very uh very low key i haven't done any highlights of that so maybe that and this together could make for a video i don't know my home still deep deep underground growing Pretty much, I got everything except for uh, Nether Wart. We never found Nether Wart. The w the one fortress we have just did didn't have any, and I've yet to find any other fortresses in this world. Obviously, they exist somewhere out there, but uh, I got some Nether terrain to grow the uh, Nether mushrooms. All my farmables are in place. Didn't end up doing much with the animals. This was all made on stream. This is as it was. I don't remember if I got... Uh, if I got the grass down here on stream. I think that was an ordeal. Trying to get grass to grow down here. I did eventually. The ravine is mostly unchanged. I've done some spelunking. Found some geodes. I got lanterns now. You like that? Uh, diamond mine. Did not prove useful. We quickly learned that, uh... The old method of strip mining. As in going... You know, 2x2, two 3x3. Two, three three, to cover as much volume as possible is no longer very effective because uh, once they added the caves update you kind of just have to find caves in order to really unearth materials it feels like their uh, their generation in just solid rock is way reduced 
because there's so otherwise there would be too much of it exposed to uh, cave walls if they didn't do that. Uh got my water elevator. I think all of this was here last time. What is this? I think I had an, a mine at iron level that also didn't do, I didn't do anything with because it didn't prove uh, useful. Yeah, it was an iron mine. Uh, the regular ravine, which you've noticed I've added roads all over the place. I did a lot of like infrastructure stuff after the previous stream. I got my daylight machine set to permanent daytime. It's just for convenience sake, because otherwise, you know, it turns to night, and then your options are either to dig a hole and wait, which isn't fun, or else you just carry a bed around with you everywhere you go. I have a run. I guess I can run. I could... You know what? Oh, I can't... Yeah, I can't use uh, cheat commands on this. I set it as a single... As a single-player server, and I don't have cheats enabled. So I can't go to uh, creative mode. That's just the top of the shaft. You got a tree farm up here. We did find all of the types of trees. That wasn't too hard. Jack's house. Unchanged since, uh, I think he only played on the very first stream we did when we had everyone here. And then he just, he, he never came back again. So Jack's house is, uh, intact. Same as it ever was. Got some path systems up here. The uh, stairs down into the ravine. Much nicer than they once were. I'm, I'm glad they have like a nice looking material that can be made out of uh, very common deep slate. And there's stone bricks as well. Which, uh, I'm going to keep that on because I will still be in survival mode. Stone bricks look nice as well. But they used to be such a pain to pain to make. And these would be too, if not for the uh, stonemason's table. This is uh, what was once the chicken hut. I believe Jack modified this into a makeshift house. Used to be chickens in here. I think they escaped. And you'll notice I have a village. little apartment building. I wanted to have all of the... What is it? The librarians down here. What are you? Yeah, you're a librarian. Because, A, it's good to have paper trades. You know, trade in paper. Which is why I have this big sugarcane field right next to them. For emeralds. And also, uh... Mending. I wanted to get books of mending. Which I did, very quickly. One of my first librarians gave uh, mending books. Hello. Got some clerics. And get ender pearls from them. That was useful. Or it would have been. Uh, I did... I, I got everything set up for uh, the ender dragon and the wither. I have a working ender end portal. We found I found the, uh, the end fortress... And I also have three Wither Skulls. We just never got around to actually getting people together to fight them. And I still don't think I will. I, I don't think I, I'm going to want to do that this stream. I've never actually fought and beaten them on stream. Actually, I've never fought the Wither at all. I've seen it fought. I know what it is. I've uh, just on my own playing Minecraft. I've beaten the Ender Dragon before. It's just really easy to, uh, you know, you get your fill of the game. 
at all those mendings. Like, once you've built everything you wanted to build, that, that's kind of what the game is about for me, is building. So, once I've done that, I just kind of lose. I just kind of lose interest. It kept me longer than uh, everyone else, obviously. We did have some people continuing to play on the server for a little while. Jack, Jack didn't come back, but uh, Sandy built his own little area. Uh, Gleam... I found Gleam's house, or what he had started. I'll, I'll show that in a bit. Darian kept playing. He played pretty regularly offline. And he made his own little hobbit hole. Which I was going to have him on stream to show off, but again, I just never got around to it. Okay. Well, I will consider I will consider this party business and enter to show off. It was, the entrance looks like uh, Crash Bandicoot's house. The little the ring. They're in much fancier with his builds than I or anyone else on the server. Pro Minecrafter, gamer licensed Darian. I don't know that I've been in here since he uh, finished the interior. He finished the exterior first. He's even got a safety fire. Technically, this is single player now. I could take all of this stuff, and he'd never know. Except for this video that is here. But it's a server's offline, so. Oh, he's got a he's got a cave system. Hello, creeper. Uh let me just There is one way that I cheat in Minecraft, and only one. It's my Infinity Mending Bow. Because I think it's stupid that you can get a perfect version of every other item in the game. You can get a perfect pickaxe, you can get a perfect every set of armor. With all the enchantments you would want on it. Silk Touch and Mending, so it'll last forever. The only one that you can't do is a bow. You can't have an Infinity Mending, vo Infinity Mending Bow in vanilla. I think if you can get both of them on a bow, then you deserve it. Where does this go? Is this... Oh, this just goes down into the little mine area near the, uh... Near the ravine. Well, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get lost if I keep going this way, so I'm gonna go back. I have a vague idea of where this is, but uh, I don't know exactly how to get out of it. I think we showed off Darien's cave on previous streams, where uh, in the main ravine, if you go through the mine shaft, the natural spawning one, you wind up in a huge, expansive just a massive cave that he found, which I'm assuming is down there. That's probably probably how he found it. What else has he got? Anything around here? Has he got any farms or anything? He's got a creeper hole. That's a nice creeper hole. Don't want to fall in there. Ow. You wouldn't believe the adventures I went on in order to get those villagers here. There were no villages nearby. And the ones that, the only ones that I could found, find were uh, locked inland. So I had to go, I had to spend hours digging like a trench to uh, boat them out to sea, and then get them here. That was an undertaking. I go through my uh, tree orchard. I don't love the roof. I wish I had a better option for the roof, but uh, 
I did what I could with the deep slate. Where was I going? Uh, I'll show off Gleam's structure. Like Jack's house, dating back to stream one. You know, the trees are flowering. I think it's because of the bees near here. Now the question is, can I find Gleam's structure? Because there's no roads to it. I just kind of stumbled into it at one point. Can I enable cheats from options? Advancements. I think I need to open a land. That that's how you do it. Settings for other players. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let me get a, a, a bird's eye view. There's the ravine. I know it's around here somewhere. I seen it. How's that bit right doing? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's way out there. Okay, so Gleam... I don't know how he got this far out compared to the rest of us. He's way from the ravine. But uh, when he started, he came out all the way out here. I guess he started a deep slate frame with this stuff. It's a lot of deep slate. And he must have been... Uh, this was his entrance hole? You can't get down this! This isn't where he was jumping, was it? I I, I don't know. This, the, each of these pillars must have a story. These are obviously gleam-built pillars. Maybe. Maybe they're not. I actually don't know what... Uh, what kind of spires can generate by the world now. Because if this were him... There wouldn't be this gap at the bottom, right? I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this part of the caves before. I don't know where this is. It's a cool area. It's just the hole to nowhere. Alright. Well, that's what Gleam had before he died, and then spent the rest of that stream jumping down to attempt to get his stuff back over and over again. And an overhead view of the village and the ravine and everything. The village was a big project. I spent a lot of time on that. That's about all in this area. The only other things to show off are... Uh, let me go back into my house. Let's see. The ravine, iron mine... There we go. Now we go to the nether. Oh, that's instant in single player. I forgot. You don't have to, like, stand and wait for it to, to go. Oh, no, it's because I'm in creative. That's why it is. So, uh... Oh, you, you might have seen I got a, uh... I had a netherite tool. I did find a couple bits of it, of the ancient debris required to make netherite stuff. So I got a little bit of a netherite mine. That bore a little bit of fruit. The, uh, this mushroom surface is actually useful 
Because hoglins do not spawn on it. I think I was planning to have like an anchor up here, a respawn anchor. But that the turns out, the problem is they're kind of useless because you have to charge them. You have to spend resources to charge a respawn anchor in the Nether, which is not worth the effort when you could just if you're I'm gonna respawn in my bed on the other side of this portal anyway. It's an extra you know fifty feet to walk. You, like, you'd only be able to use it if you were way deep in the nether. And you had... I guess you needed a respawn point? I don't know. It's it's a dumb feature. They should just have a bed equivalent that doesn't need recharging in the nether. So we'll go that direction later. This is the main part of the nether that was seen in previous streams. This is my little nether structure. I have the, uh... The roads built out of the anti hoglin material. We'll go see Sandy's house in a minute. The glow squid, if you put it on signs, does that. So that's kind of cool. I forget where this goes. Got my uh, magma lighting. Hello, Quasi. I would have named the ho a horse Frollo, but I never got a horse. I got a lead. I got a warp fungus, so I can... Uh, you know what? Let's go for a ride. Get rid of that. Sorry, Quasi. Let's get you out. Let's go for a walk. These are a neat addition. Kind of. Like, it's nice to have something that can travel on lava in the nether because, boy, there's a lot of it. It's just really inconvenient that it's a creature. Particularly a creature that wanders. Because, say, I wanted to disembark here. That's what the uh, the lead in the chest was for. I can't, uh, I can't just get off and trust him to stay put, even though he's named and everything. I have to, uh, I'd have to time to a fence post or something. Otherwise, I'd, he'd just wander off and I would lose him forever and also be stranded. So, uh, that's not convenient. I feel like there's a lot of additions to Minecraft that are cool, but not that user-friendly, or not that useful. Could be more useful, let's say. Got some scary nether music. Oh, that's what this was. I have my, uh... My little lava sewer. Boy, this was fun to make, getting all of these lava tiles in just the right place. I just, I dug a, a I dug a lava tunnel to get to the other side of the, uh, other side of the nether. I don't remember if I finished it, actually. Where does this go? I don't think this is the way I should be going. Yeah, I built a I built a connecting path out here. But it doesn't actually go anywhere. I, I didn't get that far. The, uh... The fortress. Not the nether fortress, but the... What, what, what do you call it? The, the stronghold, that's what it's called. The stronghold is out that way. Which is why I wanted a quick way to, uh, you know, cross distance in the nether. Thank you, Qua. 
quasi. I don't know why I'm putting everything back like I'm ever going to come back to this world. He'll hang out. He'll be fine. You know what? Have a slightly larger enclosure. There you go. You can go out into the big area. Have fun, Quasi. I ended up building up just a path out to the stronghold. So, uh, this whole tunnel, as much time as it took me, ended up being kind of useless. I suppose the same could be said about anything made in Minecraft. It is, after all, but a grand distraction. Had a... F Fortunately, we were lucky to have the Nether Fortress right next to us. And I took advantage of that fact to make a blaze farm. A very ghetto blaze farm. This is, you know, the kind where they just fall down here, you sort them, you get some XP. Because blazes are very good XP. Disproportionately so. I think they're worth, like, twice what other mobs are worth. I would have liked a uh, zombie farm or something, because you, you can uh, automate them dying. Alas, we did not have any, uh... We didn't have any spawners anywhere near us. And the rest is just relatively untouched nether fortress. We cleaned it out. We got all the all the treasure and stuff, but otherwise just another fortress. Uh I'll go through here real quick. So uh Bunker Ragoon. So I don't you some of you might remember Omni Dragon. He was not on any of our Minecraft streams of late. However, he was in some of the old ones. So he still had the server... He had my IP address in his Minecraft server list. So I guess at some point he found the server online and he just decided to come make himself at home. So this was completely off stream. Omni Dragon just uh, hopped in and started making his own little area. I guess it, it will. it was never to be. This is the most useful addition in, like, forever. I love this table. This is how I got all that brick. It's so easy and convenient. Doesn't work with netherrack. Never mind, I can't show it off. But it's really cool. I love that. I guess he's got a little map of where his area is. Oh. It's a cool little ravine. Over overlook. I guess he didn't get a ton done in terms of anything fancy. What's up here? Maybe there's more up top? He's Oh, he found his own ravine as well. How do you traverse that? I guess it's kind of inevitable with the caves and cliffs update. Like, everyone in this update was going to build an underground house, right? Make empty community chests. Just leave, it, leave all the doors open. Just, just to bother people. Okay, so there's not a lot here, but, uh, yeah. Shout out to Omni Dragon. He just, he threw down a portal and he popped out right next to our, uh, right next to our nether fortress area. Sandy was the only one who really built his stuff out a ways, like a ways a ways. Which is why the only real way to get to him is through the nether. I had this little path built.
Like, Gleam, Gleam's a little bit away from the ravine, but Sandy... Sandy is all the way down in that snowy area we saw on the map. Oh, hello. Friends. I see he's still having this problem. This, this has been happening a lot with his nether portal. We got some cool amethyst, though. Is it a blaze here? How do you get through? I wonder why he has that water going. Just for looks? Well, anyway, here's Sandy's mine. His house appears to have several squatters. People who uh, no longer wish to reside in the nether. They're just hanging out up here. And, the, and one villager. It's okay, they get along. It, it's like a wacky sitcom. A nice big spacious area. Made of brick. He just, Sandy's just got his own little area way down south here. Right next to a village. He's got his own village, which is probably where the villager came from. Sandy, I regret to inform you that your house has become a homeless shelter. Oh, now a zombie's moving in. Go on. It's fine. You're welcome here. Oh, wait. No, he doesn't get along with villagers. Well, okay. Villager's gone. Zombie moved in. New roommate. New arc. I, I kind of wanted to see how that unfolded. So we spawned right next to a red... What, what's it called? Red nether forest? Crimson forest, that's what it's called. I gotta, I gotta remember my controls. There we go. I don't know who built that crafting table there. I'm amazed it survived in the nether. So let's go this way. We spawned in a crimson forest, which meant we had to go looking for a warped forest, the, the blue kind. And that took a while. I had to go out a ways before I ran into one. Let's speed this up a little bit. This is where I was trying to connect to with the, the tunnel, so I could just, you know, walk my... my Quasimodo, around this part of the Nether Sea. Because it turns out, they didn't connect. It was just a huge wall between them. The New World. I had planned if uh, Illatox... Illatox did eventually get Minecraft working, and eventually learn how to play it. This, this was a slow process, but... Uh, were she and Elf King to join this server, I was going to uh, direct them out this way. Because this is such a long nether path that uh, the area it pops out in is basically untouched. There's the warp forest. Got me some uh, blue. The blue nether wart, weirdly enough, does not prevent hoglins from spawning. Only the red does. I guess they didn't feel the need to program the blue one that way, because uh, hoglins don't spawn in the blue forests. 
This doesn't actually go anywhere. This was just me looking for... This is me looking for another net, nether fortress. I really wanted nether wart. And I never found any. Also, I don't know who built this. Someone built, like, a big path out here. Someone else was here in this uh, warped... It's probably Darien. Followed my path out to the warped biome. I built another portal. We got a weird... I forget what this biome is called. A, a new kind of cave with uh, stalagmites, stalactites. Where's the way up? I know I built a way up. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. You can tell how re this was mo the, probably the most recent thing I did on this server was come out here. There's a village nearby. This would have been a great place to start a new life. You know, were anyone still playing on this server. Alas, the new world was not to be settled. It will remain untouched. Maybe a warm sea biome, too. And then real quick, I guess I'll head out to the Stronghold. The Stronghold was a pain to find. I went through so many... Uh, I went through so many Eyes of Ender. Ender Eyes? Eyes of Ender. Ender Pearl, Eyes of Ender. Because it was just such... You can tell by how long this path is. How far out in the overworld the uh, the stronghold was it's not quite that far not quite as far out as that uh, that village there as the new world almost though it, it was it's a ways a little fenced in so we don't get uh, piglins I had it right next to the uh, right next to the end portal. I was all ready for a big adventure with everyone, but it was not to be. Do I have a path to the surface? I must have. Come on. Obviously, I came down here from the surface. This is not the way. Oh. Well, I found where I came in from. I even dug a I dug a quick access hole part way down. I'm just curious. I I want to see the uh the numbers for just how far out this was. Very rudimentary path. I I was I was done by the time I found this place. Uh, you know, only negative 2,124. It'll take a few a few eyes of Ender to get that distance. Well, the Ender Dragon and the uh, the Wither were not to be. I considered just fighting them on my own for this, but uh, I don't think that'd be very fun to watch. Yeah, dumb bear. Especially with the the way the uh the way the the end dragon boss fight is, it would it would just be me running around shooting my hacked bow and arrow 
taking out the uh, you know the towers and everything, it, it it wouldn't be entertaining. So, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Again, I just wanted to show off the the final state of this world before it was gone forever. Maybe we'll do another Minecraft next time there's a big update. I don't know how many more big updates there will be after the, the Caves and Cliffs was huge. And even that didn't get people interested enough to stay with the game. So, uh, But hey, Dragon Quest Builders 3, once that comes out, Boy, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on top of that if I'm I could stream that day one. Square, please make a Dragon Quest Builders three. All right. Well, that's all I really wanted to show you. Thank you guys for watching this 45 minute little video. And uh, streams are going to continue being light for the time being. We have about a, about two months of school left. And me being a school bus driver, things will open up a lot in the summer. And then it won't really matter what days Jack has off because I'll be able to share them. So uh, look forward to streams resuming around then. In the meantime, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try to manage, but they'll still they'll be light. I will see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.